So editing images is one of the most common tasks people need to perform on computers. But if you're not doing it as professional, you probably don't want to fork over all the money for buying Photoshop. There are some alternatives. For some simple things you can do them in preview. But there's some great apps in the Mac App Store for photo editing. One of them is Acorn and this is the one that I use a lot. So you can get it for only 30 bucks in the Mac App Store. So here's a fairly typical task you may want to do inside of an image editing app. Uh, I've got one photo here with me in it and another with just a background. I'm going to cut myself out of this one and put myself in this one. So the, one of the ways you can do this in Acorn is to use the uh, selection tool here. Uh, you can use one of these shape selection tools and draw carefully around the shape. But I'm going to try to use this one to select an area. Uh, you have to be creative when you select an area no matter what the app. So for instance if I choose right here and I drag it's going to select more and more of me. Um, but before it gets all of me it's going to start selecting some of the background. So I'm going to undo that and maybe try down here. And I have a lot better luck here. It's a better spot for it. And you can see I can select pretty much all of me uh, and not get any of the background there. So I'm happy with that. And all I need to do right now is copy, move over to this image, and paste. And there I am. And now I can reposition that image. But right away I see that it's not quite what I want. You can see a little bit of a halo around my image because the background here is so much lighter than this. And you're getting a little bit of the background around the edge. So I'm going to work on it a bit more. What I'd like to do is select less of me, less of the edge. And there's no select, shrink, or grow um, options here. But there are keyboard shortcuts. You can use the Option key and arrow keys to grow the selection. Now I don't want to grow it. I want to shrink it. So I'm going to invert the selection first. So I'm going to select everything but me. Then I'm going to use the Option key and each of the four arrow keys five times to uh, expand this inverted selection in all four directions. So Option 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once for each of the arrow keys. And you can see now I move the selection line in here. I will invert it again. So now I've selected just me. And I'm also going to, as an edit measure, add a feather to it which will basically smooth out this and kind of create a semi-transparent area around the edge here. I'm going to do that for 5 pixels as well. So it will blend this selection in better with this. Now when I copy and I go over here and paste it will look a lot better. And you can see it puts me in really well. Now of course it doesn't solve the problem of the lighting being different. Uh, but this is just an example and you may be working with something a little bit better. Uh, you can certainly adjust the lighting later on. You've got uh, if you look under Window Inspector you've got two layers now. There's me and there's the background. So I can select this uh, layer here and do various things with it. Uh, different ways of representing it. And also of course I can adjust, adjust this layer here to change brightness, contrast, and all sorts of things. But you get the basic idea how to do this very common task in Acorn. You can see how powerful it is with all these different tools and uh, all of the menu commands.